AEW is going head to head with NXT, which used to be good news for AEW, but not this time. Because NXT is ready, war ready. Shouts to Jeezy and Ross. NXT is going all in for Tuesday with a bunch of main roster stars in the show, but that's not the only reason they're gonna beat Dynamite. NXT has actually been better than Dynamite of late. They have a lot of storylines, like a lot. And even if they don't all pan out, many of them do. Shawn Michaels has done a great job booking this product, and it's led to homegrown stars. Trick Williams got over the second he stepped into the PC and is catching fire. By the way, if you're wondering why people chant flip that trick in support of Trick Williams, clearly there's a comma in that chant. Keep up. Carmelo Hayes been caught fire, elevating not one but two NXT titles. Noam Dar stays with the culture. Braun Breaker has the best fear in the business and is doing some of his best work now that he's a heel. Baron Corbin has been resurrected again. Tiffany Stratton is next because you know how excited the wrestling ecosystem gets about blonde white women. Only Hugh Hefner gets more excited about young blonde white women than the wrestling business. NXT feels more like a variety show, something for everybody. You want women's wrestling? They have a deep women's roster filled with potential. You want black people on TV? You'll see Metaphor. And for a while, the Trick and Mellow gang were at the barbershop almost every Tuesday. They even had a Global Heritage Invitational for all the wrestling purists, because who needs a dating life? Wrestling is at its best as a variety show, and at times, AEW Dynamite just feels like a nationally televised indie show for lonely men in their podcasts. This ain't the pandemic NXT that was too scared to put main roster talent on the show for fear of looking desperate. This is an NXT that WWE's loaded up for months. This is a red hot product that has become a third brand for WWE. Becky Lynch is on the show now. Dirty Dom has been a draw. So has Rhea Ripley and Seth Rollins. AEW has had its way with NXT historically. They dominated the Wednesday Night Wars. They even beat NXT handily during the Tuesday Night War this time last year with 752,000 for Dynamite and 676,000 for NXT. But last week's NXT coming off No Mercy drew 857,000 viewers. That's up 24% from last year's Tuesday Night War. And in addition to main roster stars, WWE promoted next week's NXT on Raw. They're going to promote it on SmackDown, and they're likely going to promote it this Saturday at WWE Fastlane, when WWE eats AEW Collision like an appetizer before it devours Dynamite three days later. Savage. AEW is going up against NXT in negotiation season. That's like battling Drake when he's in album mode. That was for all the dogs. Or John Jones during fight week. Playoff Tom Brady, you name it. Michael Jordan in a game six, I can keep going. NXT had no interest at throwing its big guns at AEW during the Wednesday Night Wars because all they had to gain was pride. There was no financial incentive in having John Cena on an NXT show because just beating AEW wasn't worth the risk. But now that there's TV money to be made for NXT, and AEW is coming into NXT's time slot, all of a sudden, NXT's become a grizzly bear and AEW is a hitchhiker trying to play with their cub. And don't get it twisted, AEW is competition to WWE. Everybody knows that. NXT sees an opening to crush Dynamite during a weakened state and do so during a time when NXT is doing its best numbers on TV ever. So NXT is going in for the kill. They smell blood in the water. So they're putting Cody in the chamber. Let's go, Cody! They're putting John Cena in the chamber. Oscar click clack. This is gonna be an all hands on deck show, more similar to a Tuesday Night Raw. Good. This is one of the many benefits of war. Thanks to AEW, John Cena is coming to the Performance Center on Tuesday. AEW is trying to counter with Title Tuesday. God love them. <laughs> Titles in AEW are like assholes with an opinion. Everybody has one. That's how the saying goes, right? What's so special about a Title Tuesday if you have more titles than days of the week? Between AEW and ROH, they might have more titles than days of the month. If AEW is going to do a Title Tuesday to celebrate something that they have way too much of, then they should also do a Little White Boy Wednesday, or Bloody Moxley Monday, or Saturday Night Unmasked Luchador. Bad Ref Thursday, you get it. <laughs> Don't mind me, that's just my bias showing. And we celebrate bias on this channel. Rep your hood.
There's nothing wrong with picking a side and claiming your set. That's what makes this Tuesday Night War so juicy. The hell kind of war would this be if everybody wanted both sides to win? This is pro wrestling, not youth sports. If you only want people to say nice things about both companies, God love you, but grow up. There will always be room for partisan content in this country, all of whom want to see their side win. Because this society is defined by winners and losers. That's how the Super Bowl works. That's how the election works. That's how everything works in America. I know all these enjoy wrestling people pat themselves on the back because they want everybody to do well. Congratulations, but none of your social media lectures are gonna stop people from picking sides. Imagine going on Twitter to tell people not to be divisive. These are the same kind of kayfabe Karens who show up to Proud Boy meetings to hand out pronoun pins. Enjoy wrestling, no, enjoy war. This is when wrestling is at its best, conflict and all. Don't ever trust somebody with an enjoy wrestling take. Take that shit to Switzerland. Only a sociopath goes on the war app to give lectures about peace. As long as this thing and that thing are part of the pro wrestling discourse, it's no peace talks until they go back to the portable classrooms they came from. Hi there, I'm Kayfabe Karen. You should be like me and enjoy everything. I'm glad Edge is with AEW, just like I'm glad Jade is with WWE. I'm a good fairy and I root for everybody. I support everything. Bias, that's for old people. I just don't understand all these humans and their preferences. So silly. Just enjoy everything. I think black lives matter, just like I think white lives matter. Just like I think proud boys matter. I want the Super Bowl to end in a tie every year because I enjoy all football. Even the Jaguars. I want Joe Biden and Donald Trump to take turns being president. Just enjoy politics. There's room for everybody to win. The next time somebody lectures you about how you need to be rooting for both companies, go on their timelines and see how long it takes before you see one of their biases. One tweet is like, support both companies. Three tweets later, what do you mean you don't drive a Prius, you monster? Whether it's the sports teams they root for, a political agenda they have, Michael Jackson or Prince, they'll all have some bias. Yet they just can't understand why people have preferences when it comes to wrestling. Yes, there will always be batshit trolls who infest the space, but I could give a fuck about what they think because I don't speak crazy. I promise you, AEW will not go out of business because of negativity on a dying bird app. One that a small slice of the population is on. There are less people on Twitter than the amount of food on Wrestling Blotaku's plate. It's not that serious. Besides, fans don't have to love everybody to show their support. Even if they are criticizing, anti-WWE and anti-AEW fans are showing their support by watching the rival product and talking about it, thereby raising awareness. Not all support is created equal. Remember, people who hated Howard Stern listened to him for an hour longer than the people who liked him. Is that not support? Jesus Christ, we're having technical issues again. Okay, let's blame TBS and take a quick break. Do we have another bit from Kayfabe Karen? I'm Kayfabe Karen and I enjoy everything. I want everybody to win. Come play with me. I'm on my way to a toxic bird app to spread joy and cure conflict forever. Today, we're going to fly all the way to the bottom of the bird app to highlight the most bad shit takes. Stop arguing, everybody. Who has ever made any money arguing? Be more like my favorite artist, Taylor Swift. Everybody loves Taylor. Travis Kelsey loves her for now. The NFL loves her. I love her. And you love her. I actually don't care for her. I think Beyonce is way better. Check out this video about last year's Tuesday Night War and subscribe. Who will win the Tuesday Night War in 2023? Tell me in the comments.